good example of this is the idea of story, which is a motif that runs through the book. Um, the story you're telling yourself about your life, which of course breaks down progressively with dementia. And so often I found myself in the beginning trying to help Mary preserve the story of her life. And that was important at the beginning, in the early stages of dementia, because that's what she wanted to do. She would be asking me um, to help her identify the people in photographs, the people in her life. Who is this person? Who am I? Who is she? The roles. That was necessary and important then. But after a while, as that story began to recede and she couldn't grab onto it in any meaningful way anymore, then I realized that actually that was putting a pressure on her that was not helpful to try and keep her in that narrative she'd always had. And then it became more important to help her let go of it, um, including my place in her life and my identity. So that's an instance of what I mean by the need to keep up with the changes that are going on in the person you're with and try to adapt yourself to them. Mm -hmm.